Ted. It's going to take more than bulldozers to make us move. If you think you can scare us off, just watch me, brats. Timber! All right! Safety first, campers. Run for it! Close. Is everybody okay? Yeah. This poor mountain never did anything to Rex. I wish he'd leave it alone. Yeah, but this poor mountain is on Rex's side of the property line, Robin. And you know what that means. The no good slime ball can do whatever he wants to it. Hey, where's Pinky? calls today. Let's not say we did. Is everybody okay? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're all here in one piece. I mean, in eight pieces, or something like that. What a day. Bulldozed and rained on, and now stuck in a disgusting, musty old cave. Come on, Vanessa. There's nothing like a summer shower. <laughs> to give you triple pneumonia. <laughs> Achoo! Hey, we should build a campfire to dry ourselves off. Looks like somebody had a fire here before. These remains are very old. Uh-oh, somebody's gonna get it for drawing on the wall. Wow, these are prehistoric paintings done by primitive cave people. This hairdo doesn't look so primitive. You know, kids, these are really old. Even older than the Native Americans, the very first campers. Wow, that's great. I take it back, they look very primitive. Wow! They look like Chester and Rex the Force the Third. Maybe it's Rex the Force the First. This is a history lesson of what it was like here a million years ago. Give or take a couple of centuries. Every day back then was just a battle to survive. Not your water, my water! My mud, my water! The great chief of the Kandi tribe had to make sure the water he shared with the bad cavemen was safe for his people to drink. Single-handedly. Well, maybe with two hands. It's just an expression. 
It was a simple life. Besides fighting with the enemies, there were only two major chores. Gathering food. Yum, chow, yum, chow, yum, chow. Go, beast, go. Go, beast, go. Go, beast, go. And keeping away the dangerous animals. No shopping? How boring. What is this? The first rock concert? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bad dad. <laughs> oh, 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 better. Oh, looks like someone's invented the first first aid. <laughs> oh. Ah, great hunt. <laughs> it was then the tribe made a major discovery. Oh, careful. Oh, oh, it hurts. Oh. They discovered fire. And they built the first campfire. And got the first hot foot. Discovering fire, the tribe, unaware of impending danger, decided to discover something tasty to eat. What is this? The good news was they figured out how to make flour. The bad news was they just didn't know what to do with it. That night turned out to be the first campfire and sing along. for something besides powdering your nose. Oh, you like? Oh, uh, think you like? <coughs> Tastes good. Unfortunately, maple syrup wasn't going to be around for another 638,000 years. But the tribe made the best of it. Meanwhile, in a nearby cave dwelling... <laughs> Good! Bring fire! Oh, oh, no fire! No fire! Bring food! Ah! <sighs> oh. Oh. 
Fortunately for Chester, Rex was distracted by a delightful aroma. Uh, oh, what smell? Oh. Rex turned into an envious maniac. First fire, then flapjacks! Gandhi, Gandhi, shakalaka, shakalaka, Gandhi, Gandhi, shakalaka, shakalaka. Uh, we did him. Actually, those early campers had it pretty good. I mean, there were no brand name sleeping bags, but the breakfast specials were to die for. <laughs> What's this? Uh, uh, oh, help! He's Wally! He's Mammoth! He's, He's a Wooly mammoth. mammoth! The villainous caveman ordered his pet Wooly Mammoth to attack the camp. Boy, that was one big day, discovering both pancakes and fire. Not to mention hate war. After watching the bad guys scarf down all their delicious pancakes, the chief came up with a plan for their defense. You call that a plan? The tribe was forced to move to a geographically undesirable neighborhood further away from the waterhole. Even though the tribe now knew how to make fire, they couldn't survive without water. With the aid of their mammoth, the bad cavemen could take over the Condi camp whenever they wanted. When things started getting real, Harry, the tribe hit the road. So they invented the canoe and seasickness. They finally made it to safety and found shelter. The tribe set up camp in this very cave, but they missed living in the valley with the other creatures. They did invent the pizza. Or was that the wheel? Anyway, the chief in training kept detailed records of their activities. Records? Didn't they have CDs? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, not bad. Advancements in personal grooming grew by leaps and bounds. The first hairdo and the first facial. And not a minute too soon. Meanwhile, the bad guys were up to no good. Mm, now get fire. Uh-huh. And candy. Charge! Oh, go! Oh, him coming! Oh! Something had to be done to keep the bad guys away from the tribe and their fearless leader. Uh, candy! 
Candy! Uh, uh, candy! The big chief came up with a plan to solve all their problems at once. Build a dam on the river and create a lake. That way, they'd keep the good guys on one side and the bad guys on the other. So the tribe enthusiastically followed the big chief's plan. Well, maybe not so enthusiastically. <laughs> You know, those humans should climb back into the trees where they belong. John, you always say it's very dangerous to play with wild animals. You're right, but this was an emergency. It was a desperate attempt, but the future of the Kandi tribe depended on it. Kandi! 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 Arara! That cave wolf sure proved he was the tribe's best friend. It was then that the tribe invented the first high fives. The chief almost lost it, but the tribe gave him a hand. And that's how Lake Cacciatore was formed. Of course, not everyone was happy about the new lake. Kandi! Yuck! But since it ensured their survival, the Kandi tribe was delighted. Can we go outside, John? It stopped raining. I don't want to leave. It's so, so homey and organic in here. What if Rex decides to bulldoze this mountain? Right, let's blow this cave. Next time, we find a cave with a warm shower and an ocean view. Uh, just make sure we leave it cleaner than we found it, okay, kids? It won't budge. Uh, where's a woolly mammoth when you really need one? I'm getting a blister. Can't we just leave the cave open? And have the bad caveman find it? No way! Ah. Right in the basket! Two points! Run for your lives! Don't panic, we're safe up here, Iggy. I wasn't talking to us, it's them! We got a problem! And those whips started their stupid protest rally again? It won't work with me! It will this time! Jump! Yeah! I'd rate those dives as zeros. <laughs> What did we do to deserve this? I don't know, Bart. Something in another life? Woo, 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 woo